A nonprofit run by Columbus Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery, and for 12 years they've been raising funds not just for breast cancer research, but for breakthrough innovations that women say insurance companies don't value. To them, though, it's priceless. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. At the time of her diagnosis, Stacy Musselman's oldest daughter was 14. You know, her first question to me was, Mommy, are you going to die? To which I was confident and was able to answer very clearly that no, I have a great team of doctors who were going to help me get better. Her youngest daughter was nine. She broke down and she started crying. And her biggest concern was if I was going to lose my hair. And at that moment, you know, I, I had to pause. I couldn't answer confidently like I did about the death question. But Stacy was able to keep her hair, thanks to an innovative therapy called cold cap that's used during chemotherapy. So as they're undergoing the medication, it's not hitting their hair follicles, so it's able to keep their hair from falling out. So it's, a, it's cool to such a low temperature that it kind of freezes the hair follicles. A remarkable breakthrough that insurance companies will not cover. It's considered cosmetic, as are other treatments that women value. Um, microblading, which helps them to keep their eyebrows, uh, nipple tattooing during breast reconstruction surgeries. After they're completed their surgery, they're able to do that. The CAPS Foundation for a dozen years has raised money to provide those treatments for hundreds of women. The chemo and surgery save lives. Cold caps, microblading, and tattooing make lives a little better. I mean, really, it's, it's not just about aesthetics. It's not about, you know, feeling pretty or looking a certain way. It's really about the confidence that you have um, in yourself, in the journey, in your caretakers. And all of those things really help you feel whole. Now, all of those services are provided free to cancer patients. And tomorrow night at Bridge Park at the Exchange Center up there, I'm going to host a fundraiser for them. Last year, we raised about $100,000. So they're hoping to double that this year. So uh, the idea is, big ass. The idea is more, it, it's yes, the physical support, but also the emotional support, right? And psychologically, I mean, you know, women value having their hair and, right. and, and their eyebrows. And insurance companies, and you can kind of get it, it's cosmetic. They don't pay for it. And, and it's not cheap. No, it's, it's not, not cheap. cheap. Although CAPS really makes yeah. it free. Yeah. It's great.